try to make it dark so that there's no cracks of light showing as far as the physical side of the mask goes. Okay, are you ready to begin? I guess. Okay, <laughs> hit the play button on the exercise. Now, for the benefit of people watching the video, um, that breathing session goes on for eight minutes or so, and I've just shown a few seconds of the video here. At this point, I'd like you to just relax your body, Wendy. Just let your whole body fall into the cushions, just like a limp doll. So I just want you to be in the moment, just very relaxed, the here and now, with no judgment, no critical thought. Just suspend all of that, no opinions. Those are all the actions of our very strong, ego-centered left brain. <laughs> I want you to suspend all that. You're in a very safe environment. <coughs> Emotionally, intellectually, and everything else, you're in a safe environment, so those things that we normally use to get along in our society, right in this moment in time, you can just suspend them. And pick them back up after the session, no problem. But just at this moment and during this session, I want you to just let go of all those things. Be the observer and just be. Be a human being. And so when you take that second word, being, human being, it means we're supposed to just be. So, be. Be a human being. Be a sentient human being that is aware of your surroundings and can feel, but there's no judgment or critical thought attached to it. I want you to just take every bit of stress and thoughts that you have, roll them up in a ball right now, and toss them all the way to the lake. Just roll it up in a ball and toss it. There you go, gone. Very good, Wendy. And, you know, we always have fun with these sessions. Uh, one of the things to connect to the right brain is humor and laughter. That's spontaneous. And whether we feel it or not, we try to laugh and we try to smile. And the very act of smiling connects us to our right brain. The very act of being spontaneous and silly connects us to our right brain. Let go and laugh, that's our new saying. Let go and laugh. Okay, so I want you to now just draw circles. And this is another way that we connect to our right brain. And I want you to change direction with your left hand. Yeah, very good. And I want you to change directions with your left hand. Great, okay, and just relax now. And just take a couple deep breaths. And I'd like you to now grab your pad and paper, a pad of paper and a pen. Okay. And put the pen in your left hand. It doesn't matter how well you do or don't do with this. The idea is to just make connections to the right brain. And so when you write with your left hand, you're connecting to your right brain. So it's not about how neat it is or how well you can do. It's just about doing it, period. Just have fun with it. Enjoy it. Now, when we were in typing class, they had a rhyme that we used to type with because it involved either most or all of the letters on the keyboard. And here goes the line. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. I want you to say that yourself in your own mind, once again, to connect to your right brain. Okay. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. Perfect. Okay. Now, when you're writing that, I'd like you to repeat that in your mind as 
you're writing it. Doesn't matter where on the page you write it. It doesn't matter if you write over top of the other letters. Just write it so that it goes from your right brain into your left hand onto the page. How bad does that look? Wow, that looks good, Wendy. Yep, very good, very good. Okay, so that's an exercise. I also want you to visualize what you just wrote on the page. And as you say it out, see the words. Say the words one at a time in your mind and look at the writing on your page that you wrote. Once again, we're engaging many processes and abilities of your right mind here all at once together. We're making connections, okay? Very important because this seeing channel exists in the right mind. The right mind can be um, like a very shy little boy or a very shy little girl. And the left brain is like a bully. The left brain is always beating up and putting the right brain down, okay? And we know that bullying is not allowed. So we're doing things to encourage that little girl or the little boy in the right brain to come forward. Now, I want you to take one of the articles. You picked five physical articles, and I want you to take any one of them. Just pick it up with your right hand, and now feel it in your right hand first, and imagine the, what it feels like just with your right hand. Okay, now transfer it to your left hand. I want you to feel the temperature. It might feel cold, it might feel warm, but just feel the temperature. I want you to feel the shape with your fingers and you know your hand, the palm of your hand. Okay, I want you to touch it to the left side of your face. Okay, and also feel the temperature, feel the texture, feel the shape. Okay, I also want you to hold it up to your left nostril if there's any smell to it. Okay, or not, there may not be, and it doesn't matter. I want you to continue feeling it with your left hand. That's cool, it smells like the ocean. Yes, okay, okay. And I want you to continue feeling it with your hand. Now I want you to put the object back on the table. Now. I want you to start and remember what the smell of it smelled like. Remember whether you could uh, squeeze it and it would squeeze in or not, or whether it just stayed the same size. Remember whether it was cold or warm. So just take a deep breath in and out. Relax and big smile. We did something totally different today. <laughs> okay, and I want you to grab a color. Okay, and just move that around and see if a color appeared as you picked it up or as you're moving it around. And just take both hands and just rattle your fingernails on your mask. Yeah. Feel your cheek with your left hand. Okay, that's a right brain activity. Okay. Look around in the darkness of your mask for a haze, a flash, an energy, and what color? What's that subtle, very subtle color that appears? I'm getting two. Okay. Um, Which one is stronger of the two? Green? Yes, it is. <laughs> very good, Wendy. Good work. You did it. Okay, okay let's... <laughs> Now we've activated your, in your, you know, other scene. We've activated that. So let's go ahead now and grab another sheet. Okay. At random. It's really, 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 really okay. great. It's like somebody, somebody's shining a light on me. Yes, now, now your mask is totally black. You've made it so tight, yeah. there's not a single crack, but you're getting light. Now, what, oh, really bright. what is the color of that energy? Go out with your vision, with your senses, with your light. Oh. 
touch the page and go back and report to me what is the color of that. All I'm seeing is just bright, bright light right now. I'm distracted by the brightness of it. Just put it on top of your head. Pink? Yes, it is. Yes. I just, as soon as I put it up there, a flash of pink came. Yep. But I'm just blown away by the brightness of it. It's like somebody, somebody, sh yeah, no matter where I put it, it's like somebody's shining a light on my face. Okay, let's, let's try one more color. Now, you have your mask very tight, so it's... It's really, it's, it's really, in fact, it's really bothering me because it's making me itch, it's so tight. Yeah, it's so tight, it's, everything's black, and you're seeing the color. Are you still there? Yep, you're seeing the brightness of it. I see the brightness and I see the movement. And it's funny, we've never had this before. If you see the brightness, you're always able to get the color. So I think, you know, we're opening up a different sense that your right brain wants to concentrate on. I get the brightness is distracting me, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, oh, so bright, so bright right there. Yeah, what is that color? Put a color to that energy. What I'm seeing, I'll just say what I'm seeing is the yellowy orange, that's what I'm seeing. But I don't know if that's the brightness showing through. Okay, you say you're seeing the yellowy orange, that is the color. Is it? I'm Good actually work. seeing that. Good work. I'm actually seeing the yellowy orange. Good work, right Wendy. Good work. What I want you to do is grab a letter or a number or a symbol. Let's give something small. Uh, yep, yeah, I can grab that one on the, on the top, yep. Yeah. And put it to where that brightness was occurring. Do you see the brightness of that page? Yeah. yeah, I can. I have to get, yeah, right, right there is bright. Even though you got the mask right. tight. Right there, it's bright, yeah, right there. Move it around and see if you can see the black of the letter against the white. So there's quite a sharp contrast there. I can see really brightness right there, that it's an X. Yes, it is. When I see the brightness, I can see a really, really, it's not like I can actually see it, like you can sense it. So that's your intuition that we actually improved this morning. You had that with your brightness, with the mask, very tight and dark. So but I can see, I, even though my mask is still tight, I can see the white and black there. And I can see the white and black there. Okay. And I actually can see the shape. Yeah, I can actually see the shape. Okay. Wow. That's great. Okay, let's move to another letter of that same pile. Okay, that next one. Let's go with that one. Yep. And move it to the different spots that you have. I can see the brightness again. Mm -hmm. Well, look into that brightness and try to see the black letter against the white page. And look on the other side, because you actually can see more out of the other side, I think. Yeah. The brightness is the most right here, right now. Okay. Now, once again, that's on the more darker side of your window, like the physical window behind you, because the partition is on that side. Okay, and on the left side, can you see through your uh, hole in the vision there, a hole, can you see the letter? Because you saw the letter X, so go to the other side. This side? Yeah, and find the spot where you can see the letter. I thought it was more back a bit. You have a spot where you were able to see the X on that side. Here. Yeah, you, yeah, you did have a spot where you could see the X. So see if you can find that spot. I can see it right there. Can you see the letter? Yeah, very big, but I can see it. I can see it moving, yeah. It's the L? Yes, it is. The L, yeah. Good work. Uh, right there. Good work. Wow. Now, you may have headache and dizziness 
even a little bit of nausea this afternoon because you're con you're you know we're opening up different channels yesterday i felt eye strain the whole day felt a little bit of nauseous i even had a nap in the afternoon and i had to sleep yeah. last night to get rid of it so yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. there was progress yesterday i want you to grab a color real quick Okay, the very bottom sheet, grab. Bottom one, this one. That one. And put everything else out of the way. The now this is just to quickly do a change of venue. You have to keep your left brain fooled here. Put that to the other spot where you were seeing the letter. Spot? And what color do you see through that little spot? It's either yellow or lime green. Yeah, it's the lime green. And yellow is very close to lime green, so lime green is what it is. Oh, yeah. Now it's like somebody sh shining a lime green light on me right here. Okay. Now grab one other color, Wendy. I'm just fascinated more with the light than anything else. Yeah. Wow. It's like, is the, the sun just come out? Nope. Uh, okay, that one. Bottom one? Yeah. Now, I just want to say, as always, could be the same color, could be a different color, could be a close color, could be any one of those. So, doesn't matter what you just picked, start fresh. Uh, it's just, just bright, bright, bright. Wow. Okay, look at the subtle color with it. Nice. Now, move it to the spot you were seeing the letters. I can see it right here. It's like somebody's shining the light right in my mask. And what color is it? The orange. Yes, it is. Good work. It's the orange. Good work. Let's grab another letter. Okay. That one. This one? Yep. Look for the character on that sheet. Put it to your other spot where you were seeing, on your other side. There's a spot on your left where you can see. If necessary. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is put that down. Okay. And loosen your mask a little bit more. You may have some more areas of light open up. It doesn't matter. Make, it, make the mask comfortable. And it's okay to have some areas of light. Yeah, it, it feels like there's light all over. Okay. Now, just grab the next letter, or at least your pile of letters. That one. Yep. That one? Yep. Show me where it's very bright. Right there. See if you have more than one window of brightness. Right now, it's right there. Okay, and uh, try to look at the letter. Go slow and look for the black. Oh, I can see it. I can see it totally. Okay. It's an H. Okay, good. And is it the same size as normal or is it magnified? It's magnified. It's big. Okay. Go we'll slow around and see if there's any other areas. I want you to count the number of areas you can see that. I can see it move here. Mm-hmm. I can see brightness. I can actually see it right there. Okay. I can see it. Vaguely there. Okay. It's like a shadow, like it's light mm -hmm. there. Okay. And here it's just brightness. Okay. And actually see it. Okay. All right, let's pick another letter. I can see it move there. I can see the black and the white there. Does it appear bright? Does it appear magnified? And, and it's the T. And is it magnified? It's the T, but yes. So show me all the different spots you can see it. I can see the letter there, plain. I can see light and movement there. I can actually see the letter moving around, but I can't make it out. I can see black and white, but I can't make it out. And then you have another area of brightness as well? Brightness right there. Very, very bright. Okay. 
Now, do you have that sheet with all the letters or characters on it that you didn't cut out yet? That one, take. Read the different letters on that, starting with the left column. Capital A, capital G, small b, capital H. Okay, great. Now, put it to your right area and, and do the same thing. Okay, start from the top of the page. This one's harder. Oh, gotta give my eyes a rest for a second. Okay. Capital H. Okay, are you at the top of the page? Move it down a little bit to get to the top. Oh, it's really hard on this side, but I think I can see an A. Yeah, that's correct. Across, I can see movement. Just call what you see, even if it's close, that's good enough. This side's harder. There's a spot that looks like a O. That's close enough. It's a capital G, so it's an O with a piece missing out of it, right? That's so hard on that side. It looks like orange from here. It is, okay. Okay, so hold up that sheet of paper with the letters on it again, and which window do you want to look through? This side seems really magnified. Okay. This side, I can still, I can see the letters move over there. This side's bright. Can you see the letters? Can you make them up? I uh, make them out with that side. Looks like a zero again. Which one? I don't know. Something is that something there? That's a that's a capital C. So very close to a zero. Yes. Okay. I'm just looking for one because I can't really see the sheet like I can with the other side. Yeah. Well, just see what letters you can find on the sheet. Yes, that's correct. And just find one other and let me know what it is. The funny thing is, is it's like I have to turn my eyes and look way over here. Mm -hmm. this, that's why my eyes get tired. It's like I have to look way over here to see it. Got Isn't it. Isn't that weird? Yes. But is this it? side I can see, it's magnified and I can see it bright as day. Yeah. The whole sheet. This side. This side's harder. Oh, there's an F. Okay, that's at the bottom. It's capital F at the bottom. Okay. I and saw it, and then it went away. So we've had a good wait. session, Wendy. Wow. We've had a good session. Watch your eyes. It'll be very bright. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was, that was actually really cool. Yeah. That was actually, especially the orange. Yeah. That was just like somebody was shining a bright orange light on me. Wow. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, you yeah. did good today. You, you may Thank have you. a headache, you might feel nauseous, so beware of that, right? I was trying to see from this side. I had to turn my eyes right over to here, like right over, mm -hmm. like that, to see. But it was right there, but I had to do that, and my eyes just got so tired. Now I understand why we need to keep doing the eye exercises. Yes.